thermal mean the heat and drift mean the shift. What is thermal to F plus tau to understand is the op amplifier minus plus minus is inverting terminal plus is non inverting terminal. Here in output voltage is V naught bias current IB minus IB plus bias current. Bias current they are approximately same but uh, maybe unequal. So we find the average bias current. IB plus plus IB minus divided by 2. This is called average input bias current. Okay. For ideal op amplifier, there should not be any bias current. But if it is real, there will be bias current. If the op amplifier is made up of bipolar transistors, then bias current is maybe approximately 500 nano ampere. And if the op is made up of FET field effect transistor, then the bias current may be it is up to 50 pico ampere. Now we'll understand what is offset current. You know the transistor with which the op amplifier is made up of, they could not be exactly identical. Okay. There will be there will always be some difference between the characteristics of the two transistors so IP minus and IP plus will not be equal and difference between the two bias current is called offset current difference between the two bias current is called offset current so offset current in magnitude it is equals to IB plus minus IB minus the difference between the two bias current is called input offset current. What is input offset voltage? Let's try to understand in case of an op amplifier. It is found that uh, the output voltage may not equal to zero as shown below figure second with the zero input voltage at the plus and minus terminals. This is due to some unavoidable imbalance inside the op amplifier. Okay. And uh, one may have to apply small voltage as shown in fig first figure above we have to apply some voltage at the input terminal to make the output voltage zero that voltage which is applied at the input terminal to make the output voltage zero is called the offset voltage okay to make the output voltage zero we have to apply small input voltage at one of the two terminals of the op amplifier that is called an offset voltage Thermal drift. It has been found that the bias current offset current and offset voltage the all temperature dependent. That means the, these parameters, the value of these parameters changes with the, with the temperature. Okay, that's called the thermal drift. Offset.
current drift it tells us about it uh, with one degree celsius change how much the offset current will how much it will drift it will change that it is a nano ampere with one degree celsius how much it changes in nano ampere and with one degree celsius change in temperature how much the offset voltage drifts that it drifts is millivolt per degree celsius Use the numerical just to understand the thermal drift. Let the gain of the non-inverting operation amplifier is 100 and it is uh, noted at the 25 degrees Celsius, meaning it is not having any, you know, offset uh, voltage at 25 degrees Celsius. But what will happen to the output if the temperature rises to 50 degrees Celsius? Offset drift is given. Okay, let's. Uh, the was the solution you know temperature rises by you know 25 to 50 that when the shift is 25 degrees celsius input offset voltage due to the temperature rise is given 0.15 millivolt per degree celsius for 1 celsius it is 0.15 for 25 degrees celsius it is it becomes 3.75 millivolt this is input voltage you know input offset uh, voltage and output will be output will be 3.75 into 100 that becomes 375 millivolt so if the temperature rises by 25 degrees celsius how much uh, the there will be input voltage is effect on the input offset voltage that effect is 3.75 then that effect goes to the output side that output voltage is a times the input offset voltage that becomes 375 millivolts 